welcome to the uh, Spectrum uh, training session. I'm Dr. Yazid, the uh, um, instructor for today's um, uh, session. So we have uh, all together so far, let me check, 40 or oh, 19. Umur, sekarang baru 19 lah. Uh, tolak saya, tolak Dr. Yazid 18. 18 lah. Uh. We expect to have how many? Uh, around 28. 28. Uh. Okay, almost half already lah. More than half already. So... We have, um, I'm not so sure uh, the, the background of the participant. Umu, Umi, do, uh, Umu, do, do, do we have uh, the background of the, the participant? Most of them are, uh, are they? Uh, uh, most of them are senior lecturer. Senior lecturer. Um, and new, uh, as in one to three years in service. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, let me share my screen. Screen. So we'll be looking at the uh, quiz. Um, we will be explore uh, these items as what uh, uh, briefly uh, described in the uh, poster when when uh, edX announced uh, this um, uh, training session um, we first will we'll be looking at the uh, why we uh, do quiz there are uh, several reasons for that it is important to uh, identify why you wanted to create a, a particular quiz session so that you can do the right setting for for the for the, the for, for that uh, session uh, then we'll be looking at uh, implementing it we'll be creating a quiz holder and then uh, we can start uh, create the question and then after we will be looking a quick way of establish a question uh, we call it question bank where you can pull um, uh, many questions at, at one go so without uh, manually creating one by one uh, from uh, uh, from spectrum um, web page because this would be a fast way of creating a question and after that uh, we also will be looking at the uh, type of question uh, quiz category um, how to random the question and also how to make uh, the answer random so that the student cannot simply copy each other and we also will be looking at how to set conditions and if uh, uh, we have enough time, then we can explore uh, some uh, other features of uh, quiz in available in the spectrum. For your information, the uh, platform that we are using, um, Spectrum, it is a uh, learning management system, LMS, um, and then it, it is based on Moodle platform. So if you have any question, any uh, if, if you are looking for solution for a certain uh, problem, you just type in uh, the keyword of your problem and then continue with uh, keyword model and then it will direct you to the uh, possible solution for the uh, for, for your question. All right, um, let's open the 
uh, spectrum page you can follow along if you um, able to open your uh, spectrum uh, course page asking whether uh, you are still with me or not along the way uh, I mean throughout this uh, session so that I know that uh, I'm online so may I know uh, am I still uh, can you still hear me at your side clearly and yes. you can see the shared screen yes 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 okay thank you <clears throat> So when you open the uh, spectrum, this is what uh, you will be seeing. Um, I'll be using a special uh, slot, special entry that uh, PTM created for me for the purpose of training. Uh, where is it? So for your case, maybe you can open any of your course. Lah. For example, I'm teaching this one. I'm seeing this. I can open it. I can I can try on my course. You can uh, let's say open this. Maybe you can create um, another another session or another topic at the end for the purpose of testing. All right? You can simply do that, and then there will be a new entry created. So. Okay. You can put in stuff here. But for my case, I'll be using another section. Uh, if you want to go back to the um, home page just now, when you first enter the spectrum, you simply click this uh, spectrum logo we will go back there um, i'll be using this one um, let me use this as the first one um, as usual, when you try to add the quiz, um, we'll be doing this way. First, uh, enable edit, turn edit on, and then uh, use that button. Sorry, this button down below here, and then add quiz. When you do this, you actually placing the uh, quiz holder, and not yet the question. There are two things you need. You you need to have the holder. And also, you need to have the question. So let's have the holder first. So before that, I think I should go back. You need to understand why you create the quiz. Okay. Um, when you click this, uh, you can read the description about the quiz right over here. Notice um, it is highlighted here. Is it uh, for exam? The, the quiz can be used for, for you to test the student in, in the form of uh, continuous assessment, in terms of exam, in terms of mini tests um, for reading assignment, for example, um, as a practice for exam. Um, or is it for uh, for you to get a response about the uh, performance of your student right after your class session? Or is it for self-assessment? Why this one important? Because the setting afterward that we are going to set uh, will be based on this. Right? So let me create quiz at this is uh, creating the holder. And while creating the holder, we will be setting the um, the the quiz behavior. 
so of course you need to have a name and any description will go here if you like this description to be uh, to, to appear on the uh, front page you click this one it will appear there if you did not click this one it will only appear when the student click the quiz entry all right this is the timing um, you can stop me anytime if you have any questions so that uh, I can address your question uh, straight away. You don't have to wait until the end. Uh, so this is the, the time, the, the timing. Um, you might want to set uh, this one when the quiz is going to happen. So, for example, if the purpose of the quiz is for you to do a mid sem test, for example, and the mid sem test happen on week 10 uh, at 9 a.m. Monday, then you can set this accordingly. We have date and time. And it will only appear or it will uh, only visible to the student when the time comes. And then this is the uh, when the time, uh, the end of the, the quiz. And uh, you can have a very long uh, quiz session. I mean, the open date and also the close date is very long, but you can limit the time for the student to answer. For example, uh, a student can answer any any time within uh, week 10, but once the student attempt to answer, they only have, uh, they, they only be given two hours. Then you can do this way by setting this uh, two hours. That means when the student attempted, they will only have two hours to complete. And they, they can do uh, um, any time within this time frame, the one you set here. Let's see, I set 11 May until I give one day, for example. Um, this is time limit. Uh, by the way, you, if you are not sure what uh, this thing means, it has a help uh, button here. Just uh, click that button and then the description appear there. So for this for, uh, this example, student can only start the attempt after this date. And this is the time uh, limit for the student. And uh, this setting is um, for the uh, quiz to behave um, when the, uh, the, the the times expire, when the limit of time has reached. So basically, we'll be using this uh, this one if you uh, do this uh, exam, uh, this quiz for uh, exam purpose or for uh, test purpose. Um, open attempts are submitted automatically. That means uh, if the student currently uh, attempting uh, question, uh, maybe last question, for example, but the student haven't uh, submit that question, if you see set this uh, option, the system will automatically take whatever uh, the student have uh, uh, trying to answer and then uh, make it as the, the one the student that, uh, submit. Uh, if you would like to have a grace period, you can have a grace period as well. Maybe uh, five minutes. You give them uh, five minutes. When this 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 time reach, they will still have uh, five minutes to to. Hello, is anybody there? I am yeah. here. Yeah, Zip froze lah. Yeah. Uh, I froze for a while, right? Now I'm back in. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I noticed okay, yes. I, uh, the connection somehow disconnected uh, just now for, I think, one minute. Less than one minute, right? 
Yes, yes. So, any, any questions so far? Any questions so far? Uh, Dr. Yas, if you don't mind, can you make your uh, browser font a bit bigger? It's a bit difficult sure. to see. Sure, I can zoom in. How about now? Ah, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. So, most of the time, uh, we'll be using this. Uh, if you do this for tests, when you do this for exam. Now, so far so good, eh? <laughs> it's quite quiet. So far so good, eh? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, under grade, um, this will only uh, have the option if you uh, do the setting on the uh, uh, grading session, which not uh, going to be covered here. Um, attempt allowed. Uh, all right. This is for if you want to uh, for the student to have um, unlimited attempt, then you setting unlimited and a single attempt uh, one and so on. So that's why I, I uh, highlighted at the beginning the purpose of the quiz. If it is for the test, then most likely you'll be uh, making it one. Lah. If the purpose of for you to get feedback, uh, it can be uh, two, three, or maybe even unlimited. Because this quiz can be used for uh, learning purpose. Student will uh, trying to uh, answer and then right away get the answer when they answer it wrongly. I will, I will show you where that thing can be configured afterwards. All right, uh, layout. For the layout, um, this is where you want the, the question to appear, how many questions per page. If you set two questions, then that means every time when the student uh, um, advancing from uh, one state to another state, they will be seeing this uh, number of uh, question set. So if you set two questions, then at one time they will see two, two questions. Uh, why we have this? Uh, you can set uh, so many questions at one page. But the danger of setting this way, um, if the internet connection somehow broken, then there will be possibility the answer will not get recorded. So that's why it is good to have it less um, either one question or two questions per page. So that's mean when the student completed that uh, two question, they move to the next step, the next uh, question, um, the two questions previously will be saved automatically. Um, and uh, navigation method. If you want the student to um, have a free way to navigate between question and question, then you can set it free. If you want it to be sequential, that means the student must complete this one, only then the student can see the next question, and the next question, and the next question. So uh, for that, you need to set sequentially. But uh, most of the time, we set free. All right, this is the question behavior. Uh, this is very important. If you set this uh, quiz is for, um, for test or exam, yeah, then you need to choose deferred feedback. If you would like to set this for uh, other purpose, then you can use uh, other option. So most of the time we set uh, uh, this way lah, for for test as well as for the exam. Um, let me. Uh, this is another setting. Um, when you set, when you enable this, what happened? Immediate after the attempt, the student will see whether the uh, the the part that 
that they're answering, the question that they're answering is correct or not. So you might don't want to have this uh, option set uh, if you do this quiz for test or for the exam. Because <clears throat> they know that they answer correctly and then they, they might be able to share with their friends. Um, this one, it get blurred because uh, during attempt, we already set this uh, deferred feedback. So, uh, and therefore, there will be no feedback given to the student um, during the uh, quiz attempt. So, to be safe, you might want to unclick all this. If you do this quiz for uh, exam purpose. Um, this one, I just leave it uh, default. You might uh, want to have uh, restriction access. Um, you can restrict um, the equation for a particular group, for a particular uh, student, or um, uh, on certain uh, on certain activities, for the uh, purpose of test and um, exam, uh, you be you not setting anything here, unless you have multiple group, then you need to set this. Oops, I accidentally uh, the button just now. Um, other than that, I think we are good. Let me check with the... I think I need to reset it back because just now I accidentally clicked that button. And then save within the course you need to put um, test test one you set the date here and then you have the two hours So just now we created a folder. When you click this, there is no question yet, right? So that is the first part. So any question so far on the first part? So far, no, from right. me. Okay, now let's move on the um, uh, adding question. There are many ways. One, you can click this button. Another way is you can click this button. They are, they, they are doing the same the same thing. This button and this, this button, it will go to the same uh, page. Um, this is where the, the, the list of questions will be uh, listed down for this particular uh, quiz. Um, to make it easier for you to, um, how to do, uh, let me see. Alright, to add question, um, you can use a new question. By doing this, you need to do it manually. If you drag from question bank, if you already have question in the question bank, then it will be, uh, a very quick way of creating question of uh, inserting question. Um, let's do this one first. Tra traditionally, we we using this way. So let's say I have multiple choices, and and then you start 
uh, give the question and this is the question huh? Here. This is the question that you are going to ask the student, and then um, default mark. Um, by default, you give uh, one mark. Um, and right over here, you have the possible answer. This is multiple choice. Um, you can make it A, B, C, small letter, capital letter, or one, two, three, or even num uh, no numbering. So let's uh, stick to A, B, C. Um, say, press one, press two. It, it is very tedious work. Uh, later on, I will show you a quick way of uh, getting the, this thing done. Right. So you'll be giving um, several options for the student to pick. Um, and then you need to uh, indicate which answer is correct. So let's say my choice one is the correct answer. Then I will pick this under others if it is not correct then you set it none if it is half correct then you can set the percentage accordingly um all right and you might want to give feedback if the question the quiz is set for for uh, um, to, to let the student learn during the the, the, the quiz session then you might want to uh, give feedback Say. All right, and then I can save it. Let me see any other uh, setting that I missed. <coughs> okay, um, shuffle. This is multiple choice. Um, if you click shuffle, what happened? Um, the sequence of choice will not follow this way. It will uh, it will uh, get shuffle. So that means if there are two students uh, at the same time taking this um, quiz, student A might see choice one as choice one as uh, the, the, at the top one. Student the second student might see um, maybe choice three as the top one. So it is good to have this uh, set. And then I save. So we have created one uh, question so far. And you might want to examine or view the question how it would, looks like. So this is how it looks like. Notice I click shuffle just now. That's why the option here get shuffle. It it is not uh, choice one, choice two, choice three, and choice four. What happened if I did not click shuffle? Let me edit this question and I disable that. And I disable this. And I save. And then when I view, all will be in this sequence. If this is what you want, then uh, go for it. But most of the time, we'll be setting this as a uh, shuffle. All right, save it. Um, and notice over here, we have another shuffle. Okay, let me zoom in to that. Um, 
Dikit Semula Right This uh, option If you turn this on Then every time the quiz is attempted The order of the question In this section will be shuffled Alright This shuffle is different to the shuffle that The one we uh, saw just now um, if we have multiple question here, let's say question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, This shuffle, we shuffle this sequence of question Alright, hope that thing clear right. This is a traditional way of creating question It has uh, pros and cons The, 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 the advantage of uh, using this way is that you have, you can let me take a question. You can choose uh, this option. If you really want to use certain um, um, question type from here, then you, you, you might want to do it do this way. Alright, alternative to this, a quick way of um, get the question done. Uh, let me save this. Um, I'm going to go back to this level and then I'm going to see the question bank. So this is question bank. Alright, another way of creating question is via import or uh, creating uh, from question bank. Um, in, um, let me show you. There, yeah. let me bring it here. For example, you can create using um, Microsoft Word this type of question. Um, we can use icon format to import this type of question. We have question, uh, all the choices, and then the correct answer. Question, all the choices, and the correct answer. And the format must follow this way for icon. And then the another format is GIF format. This is more advanced as compared to the this one. You might want to try out this, uh, the simplest uh, format first, and then afterwards, um, you can advance to this uh, GIF format. The advantage of this is that it is simple, very easy. But uh, it only can cover for multiple choice question. Um, as for the GIF uh, format, uh, it allows you to do multiple choice, true or false, short answer, matching, missing words, numerical question in a simple format and so on. Um, this is how the uh, editing text would be look like. Uh, don't worry, this all this uh, explanation actually available in the uh, Moodle platform. Let me open the Moodle. You just type in Moodle and then choose Moodle.org. And then documentation and then um, you're looking for quiz right just to with quiz so they even have a video for you to follow along um, we are at question bank just now right so the question bank and you can click on this import question and then here it gives you a list of format that the spectrum can take up the one I explained just now, icon and GIF format. Uh, those two are quite uh, quite famous um, when people are trying to import question to the uh, spectrum or to the Moodle. <coughs> Let's look uh, at the, 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 the simplest one first, icon. And then I think I can find
is this icon back here where is icon all right here <coughs> icon so this uh it explained about the how to import uh, from easy icon format let's let's try copy this and then uh, do the import quickly um you need to have this thing in text. Let's see, I have another few question. Let me make it bigger. Format font size twenty four. Hope you can see this. This is the simplest way of importing. Of creating um, uh, question outside uh, spectrum uh, platform, and then later on we can import uh, to this spectrum. Let's say I note this as um, just to make it uh, different. I put it X. This is why. So I have uh, four question here. Now I can save it. So notice UTF-8, you just use the uh, default uh, uh, encoding. And then you can put this as icon. Let me put somewhere in download. Alright, save. No, now I'm going to go to this. <coughs> um, you have import here. And then choose icon. Um, and you might want to observe where this import, uh, I mean the set of question will be imported. By default, it might go to uh, the default, uh, maybe this one, lah, or maybe this one. So if I might want it to go here, let's say I want it to go here. So when I do this, it will go there below. Uh, let me create a new one so that we we not get confused. Uh, I will be creating a, a new category. Let's create a category so that the import question we go there so that uh, it will not mess up. So I'm going to create a category maybe under under this. Let's say this is CO number. The, the question is related to CO number, CO cost outcome for example. Great category. Sorry, I need to put it. Yeah, there. So it's up to you if you want to have an, an, a, a new category under this section then you can put this as the, the parent category so that's mean the thing that you're going to import uh, will be go here we go here right um notice over there the, the one i created just now uh not that one this one So currently there's no question there, no question there, now I'm going to do import and then I have icon format and then general I will pick the one I created just now and just leave the default setting there and then choose the file and then I 
put it in my download just now right download so this is the one open and then output this file so I create the import all those four question I have x x y y just now at the front and then continue now if I go to the uh, category and then co4 just now there are four questions imported right it is very important for you to define the location where you want to import that the, the question at the beginning it is okay to to use default setting but once you have so many questions you get messed up so you don't know where the question goes for example you might sing something like this you just imported but you don't know where the question goes so that's why by specifying the <coughs> the uh, categories and sub categories it will help you to organize my suggestion is uh, you organize the category based on the maybe cost outcome um, i'll tell you the reason uh, why afterwards so i have cost outcome two uh, one, two, that, let's have a uh, cost account three. Three. Create another one, cost account three. Then, add category. I haven't created, uh, I, I don't have question yet for that one. I, I'll be using uh, another format afterwards. Uh, let me make use of the question um you can view the question let's say the, the one that I, we imported just now you can view how the question looks like by using this um preview button so this is the question all right and you might want to set for the um for the random or the shuffle just now if it is not being set. So imagine how fast the uh, the way we can import. We compare the manual of creating question by using the traditional way and compare with the uh, icon format uh, import just now. It is very, uh, very fast. Let's do the import for uh, another format. Let me go to documentation. Remember when you go to Moodle, you can go to here, quiz, and then question bank, and then import question, and then go for the format that you're looking for. Uh, this is for you to see how the uh, formatting of the respective uh, format. So I'm looking for GIF. Here is GIF. I think at the top, right? So this explain the behavior of GIF format, lah. the formatting and the symbol and character. To give you an overview, let me show you this one. So GIF format. It allows multiple choices, true, false, short answer, matching, missing, and so on. And this is how the GIF format looks like. I might want to make it bigger so that you can see at your side. So for true or false, the answer will be in the clear bit bracket. So let's see the description, description right over here. At least one blank line must be left between each question. Notice this is question, first question, second question, and so on. There is one blank line need to be there. And the question come first. There will be question come first. And answer set in 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 between curly bracket. So this is the answer. And for the correct answer, you put equal sign. This is the correct answer. And those are the uh, other options, other other possible. This is multiple choice, so 
So those are the things that will appear when the student are trying to answer it. So equal indicate the, the, the this answer is correct one. So that the that the system knows um, uh, which one is correct lah. The tidal, uh, tidal, uh, the curly minus um, symbol is for the wrong answers. Hash for the response. Remember just now uh, I put the first uh, answer as the correct one. So in this uh, format, you might want to use uh, this to indicate the, the, the selected uh, answer is correct. For example, this one. This is correct, and then this is what is going to appear as the feedback to the student. Remember, when you set the quiz, for you to teach the student, for the student to learn from the quiz, you might want to give a feedback. So this is where you put those feedback, right, wrong, and so on. Um, if you don't want to put any feedback, you just leave it empty. Um, what else? And then the the marks, the weightage of the marks. Uh, over here. This one. The this is the correct answer. Um, and that is the the weightage. And forward slash, double forward slash is for you to put a, a comment. That's for your reference. And this will, will not going to be imported in the in the model, in the spectrum. It will not appear in the uh, question bank afterwards. Um, now let's try importing this. I have it. You can download the example from this page, I show you where. Give format. This give example. So you just click this. And then maybe you can edit this for your new question. Let me. Doctor, extract. if you don't mind, can you paste the URL into the chat box so sure. we can access it? Jump to it. Yeah. Sure. Do it now. Um, check. Oh, can I can I share the PPT slide? That's for GIF format and the other format. Let me grab the other format. I think this is the the best way lah, go to to create question. You can start with the uh, icon. Once you are familiar with icon, then go ahead with GIF. Where is it? Oh, I think I accidentally uh, closed that. Never mind. I show you where to get it again. Testing type model, model the org, and then documentation, and then a quiz. Question bank, or you can straight away type in question bank here. That this thing will appear as well, and then um, import question, and then give give. Oh, I'm looking for icon, right? So icon. Maybe I can copy this link. Anyway, I copy icon format uh, link so that you can uh, go there straight away. I might paste it on the chat box. Right now, the icon format and also the GIF format are in the chat box. I mean, the link to that format. Both has uh, the example there. You can make use of the example. Now, I just downloaded the GIF format. Previously, I've uh, uploaded the icon, right? Now, I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to do the same for GIF format. But before that, let's see how the text file looks like. Um, I think I put it here. All right. Um, 
this is key format so using key format you have many ways of um, structuring your question lah. so those are the example multiple choice Remember to have space between question. So this is uh, one question, another question, another question. Within the question, you start with question and then a list of answer. And within list of the answer, you have those incorrect, you have those the correct one. Um, this is um when you uh, later on you, we will see how it will appear in the spectrum all together we have so many 40 i think 40 question here example from description um okay never mind i save this And then I go to the um, our question bank. I just want to recall where to get this question bank. Uh, this page. If you are here, go to this more, and then down below here, question bank. Okay. Uh, alternatively, if you are at this question, for example, you are here. You, we were here just now. Um, I think over here we a decrease. Um, this is at uh, the question bank. So I forgot where where's the link. But anyway, the I think the easiest way. You go to here, here, more, and down here, right? Again, I repeat from your course page, the front page, turn it on, of course, and then more, and then down below here. All the question will be recited in this question bank. And then you arrange in such a way it is based on, uh, if, if you like to base on CO, then you make it uh, based on CO based on certain topic you can, you can base on certain topic this is very important to organize this way because when you have so many questions then you 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 are you are not lost and it it is easier when you try to pick from the um quiz holder just now and you try to pick a question from question bank it will be easier now we still do not have question on co3 so i'll be importing the um, GIF format just now, the one I downloaded, to CO3. So this one, I will specify CO3. And then, choose a file, the one I downloaded just now. Um, I think in download, GIF format, this one, open. And then I upload. And then import. It will list down all the question. There are forty question altogether. All right. And then continue. So it goes to the place where you um, specify earlier on. If you did not specify, it might go to any of this um, place lah. All right. Over here, you can view those questions. This one. That's how the, the question looks like. It's how this question looks like. Um, and within this, it also show um, 
an overview how the question looks like lah. Uh, I think this is matching question. Right. Thanksgiving, all right. Put here, notice this is the space, and those are the options. And you can um, um, try out uh, the the behavior of this question. You can you can uh, try this, and then uh, submit and finish. This this is uh, what the student going to see lah for this setting. Um, start okay. Let me explain what I'm trying to highlight here. Notice right over here, down here. Um, currently, I purposely set it and not shown. If I show those things, it depends on the right answer, whether uh, the marks, feedback. Remember, we have feedback. If you want to show the feedback, then I can show it. Then this is for for you to to see how this particular question behave with this setting. Um, let me. This is deferred. Start again. I put uh, American holiday, right? Uh, and then I save, and then I submit. Notice the student. When the student attempted under this setting, under this setting, this is what be uh, this is what the student will see. So to make it simple, I normally uh, for the purpose of test and exam, I just put option. Start with something simple. Okay. And you can try it out. So I try. Save. Save and submit. Only that. So then we only get the feedback after um, you um, um, collect all the marks from the student from the from this, this quiz. And then you can. Uh, it depends if you want to give it back and then you can give a separate uh, answer sheet to the student or if you want to it appear immediately of course you can uh, do uh, change this setting so what i'm trying to say here if you want to test out how the student side see the question when they're trying to answer this is one of the way to see that all this if you notice i'm going to uh, relate to the to the uh, quiz holder, the one we created at the beginning just now. Uh, let me find it. Where is it? I think this is the one. Remember, at the beginning, I have this. Let me edit this. Sorry, not this one. This one. This one. I need to edit here. Right. Remember, um, where is it? Ah, here, this one. This setting. You can test how it behaves by using this window how to get this window uh, pop up um, let me open the instance of this um, go to the question bank This question bank. Okay. 
let's say this one this one so right over here so you can do the setting um, so as of now I think to make it simple make it not shown and then later on you explore uh, how it going to behave I'm just showing you option where you can see this, this behavior lah. All right any questions so far sorry I'm going uh, uh, back and forth back and forth maybe you get <laughs> uh, confused so uh, let, let's clarify certain things we have created the quiz holder this quiz this is quiz holder we have created um the we have looked on the question bank and then we look at the how to create category so that the question can be managed easily um my proposal is to use a course outcome as the way to group your question all right for example um this is our course tlg and those are the course outcome uh, the question related to the course outcome um, I've imported um, icon format into course outcome 4 I have uh, import, imported uh, GIF format to CO3 and uh, CO1 and CO2 uh, are the, the question that already available that I created before um, so we have this and then you can view the question either the imported question or the question you have created by simply click on that particular co so it, now it zoomed down to that particular question i've co4 i have four questions so far then i can view it i can view it i can see whether it is uh, shuffle or not you can see uh, what else you don't worry much about this setting because if you do the setting at the the holder at the beginning uh, it will follow uh, the, the holder setting over here is just for you to experience how um, for a different setting how the student will see the the quiz All right so now uh, the next step is to combine now I have the question bank I have the question now already I have the holder what next this is the things that you can do to complete the, the, the quiz question uh, edit this is the one we created manually remember manually just now now I can import from question bank now, if you did not did not um categorize the question it's very very difficult for you to pick the question if you categorize it then it is easier let's say i want to make the first one as my co1 so i pick whichever i want for co1 let's say i need i just want four question for co1 and then add the selected question now it goes immediately there of course i can uh, i can put this as co1 or maybe part one yes it can i stop you for one <laughs> yeah, yeah sure sure all right just now i i i'm mungkin i miss but let's say in your co1 you have 20 questions okay so what you did just now you can choose which question you want to give to the student not be, because you don't need 20 questions for example you only need five questions for each assessment can you individually choose that five question from the 20 question that you telah park in the co1 or you need to cur that that once you have this uh set of question 20 question it will be you have to use it all the 20 uh, like you cannot choose i to to choose this five question for this batch for example you can choose five question from that batch 
Ah, alright. So that that was what you're doing just now. Ah, uh, the one I did just now, I pick specific question on um those list. I pick those specific question. Um, mm. yeah. All right. So because you, it's a you, question if, bank. If you want that one, you use this one. Add a random question. Ah, uh -huh. so you choose and then okay, okay. Uh, then you get randomly from that 20. Mm. Uh, but you need to make sure it is fair. Lah. All uh, those 20 batch is kind of the same kind. Yeah, the same the kind. So uh, example, kalau tidak nanti uh, ada student dapat semua soalan susah, kesian ke dia. <laughs> oh, so this, so each each student will get different question, is it? Uh, you, if you pick random, if you oh. pick random question out of that 20, uh, make sure those 20 you can further categorize um, mm -hmm. that question under this uh, uh, CO4 under, uh, under, 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 under certain category. You can you can create a category under CO4? Yes. Ah, all right. Okay, okay. I think so. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me check. Uh, question bank. We are in question bank categories. CO4, yeah, can. So. Oh, so it, the CO4 is a parent category. Okay, okay. Yes. Yep. Ah. Okay, ah, that, right. would be, it would be, that would be better lah. I think this so, is, yeah. This is to avoid, um, because it, within CO4, you might have uh, a, 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 a essay question, you might have multiple choice question, Big and place question. Ah, mungkin ada right. question. Ah, mungkin nanti if you select only um, let's say two question out of four randomly, nanti ada student yang dapat semua essay. Ah, right. That's okay. why it is okay. uh, good to have it sub category lah. That's mean sub CO4 maybe all uh, question, essay question goes here. Something like all that. Alright. Okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, well, yeah. That's that's why the, this category is very important. When you have many many question, then it is important. The good thing, if you if you develop this uh, question bank, it can be used in future 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 subject. I mean, of course, in the same subject lah. Uh, when you uh, teach the same subject next year, you already have question already. You just add up few more question, and then mm. you can randomize from there. You okay. make make your life easier lah. Alright, so, okay, th th thanks. Alright, now let's go back to... Thanks for asking. Sure. Right, uh, part one. And then I can add more question. Now I getting question from CO2. Let's say I just want to have three question. Select. Alright, now I'm going to highlight how to separate the part. Notice just now all are within part one, right? Uh, uh, this is important. Let me right over here. Notice in between here, it has additional additional item as compared to this one. This one only three, but over here it has four. Why? Because over here it, we, you can create uh, another section. I mean, to put part two lah. Let's say uh, I put thing here just now, right? So. Where is a new section heading? Yeah. This one. And if you want, if if don't want this to be shuffle, then you don't have to take shuffle lah. If you want this to be shuffle as well, then make it shuffle. Um, let's keep it on. But this time I'm going to uh, pick a random question. 
So I'm going to pick from uh, CO3. Um, remember uh, to be careful um, if the all this question in this category must be in the same difficulty, lah, same level of difficulty. So that when it randomized, uh, all the students have the same um, same type of question. Lah. I mean, the same level of difficulty of question. Number of random question, uh, I want to pick maybe one, two, three, maybe four. Create category. Random question using your category. Okay. Just put. I think I just leave it hang. Um, CO category. I just want to use this one. Huh? All right. Uh, those, uh, our friend just now uh, asking about the random question. These are the random question coming from a uh, set of CO3. And then you can create a section heading part three. And then rename it as part three. And so on. I say for this, I only have three CEOs to be tested. And then um, if you are ready, save. Um, to see how the student see the question, you can switch role to student. Oops. Okay. Uh, because just now I was in the setting page, which only uh, instructor can view. And I suddenly switched to the student view. That's why the error just now come up. But anyway, it set the student. This is for you to test out. Lah. Remember, once you attempt the quiz, you no longer able to edit the quiz. That means if the student uh, already started answering the quiz, uh, you should not edit the quiz. Lah. Otherwise, there will be error. So now I attempt the quiz. Start attempt. Notice if you set a single attempt, then the student will only able to attempt once. If 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 you set two, then two attempts lah. Um, and that link will not appear if the time is outside the uh, the, the 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 active quiz window. Remember the timing we set just now. I just and this is uh, showing the progressing lah. That, that showing that I'm at, on question one now. I have five question for part one, and then there will be a few more uh, question. This mapping is important for the student to, I mean, manage their time. So student knows that uh, he or she has this amount of time left, and they are now at this particular question. Notice, if I set if I set wrongly just now, then the student will see whether the the, the answer that they answering is correct or not. But since I set, uh, um, I mean, delete response or uh, what was the setting just now? Okay. Let me recall that. Oh, now I'm under student, I cannot see. Anyway, I just uh, complete this. Next. Sorry, next. 
just random, random, randomly answer those question. Now I'm on question seven, question eight. Then I move to the next uh, part. So remember, this is um, this is uh, random from from the, the pool of question. And then submit and finish. Right. Uh, can I do that? I think I, I allow the uh, the attempt, right? That's why the button uh, appear here. So this is when the student have completed answering the quiz question. And then uh, I can go back to the normal row. Now I'm under okay so let's see TLG this one summary of your previous attempt uh, this is preview Still student. Maybe click on that. Right. Um. When you're trying to show the the student answer, what you need to do you. Let me, I'm here, go to here, you click on this, and then you see those students. So just now only one student trying, so this student just managed to answer one correct. So um, this file can be downloaded. So and then you can um, compile your marks accordingly. You can download this. This is CSV, or you can download as Excel. So this will be list of student, and those are the uh, attempted question. Any question so far? I think we have covered uh, most of all the things that we're supposed to cover. So let me briefly summarize. At the beginning, I talk about the um, creating the question question holder, quiz holder. This is where the um, let's say you want to have it uh, mid sam for example. So this will be mid sam. And then, once you have it, make sure you uh, edit it uh, properly. If you want to see the edit, the setting of that particular um, uh, test one um, setting, you need to use this option. Enable edit on, click down here, edit setting. If you click this straight away, it goes here. And then if you edit this, actually you edit the question. But if you want to edit the holder setting, you need to go here. Edit setting. 
for the whole uh, editing. This is where the timing, um, the layout of question, uh, and question behavior, and so on. Right. Uh, try to refrain yourself from edit this once the uh, quiz has happened. Uh, Okay, uh, that one. So we have created that, and then I also explain uh, on how to let me open another instance. Um, TLG. I talk about the question bank. To go to the question bank, you go to the respective course. And then more go to the question bank. Here it allows you to set the category of the question. And then you can set the subcategory and sub subcategory. When you import, make sure we use this button import. Recognize the format that you're trying to import. And then make sure you know where the file is going to import it where the question is going to be important, right? And then, uh, this. so you can view how many question on the respective subsection. Um, notice these are the subsection, subsection. This is sub subsection. And this is the, the parents of this question, of this uh, section. Lah. Um, what else? Okay. And then I um, indicate how you can um, from here how you can add question. Notice one, the question has been attempted. Um, you should not edit the question. Lah. You can edit on certain things, but try to avoid editing when the session is running because the quiz the quiz might break and then it might cause all the students have to retake or all over again all right i notice now you cannot add an additional question see no more adding question if you um and I show you how to add the question from um, from the respective section. I'm referring to this from this, and then how to create section within the uh, question. And then I also show you how to randomly uh, select question from um, this uh, category, and then. I demonstrated how the student uh, answer the question, uh, the, the layout of the, the view on the student side, submit, and also I show you how to um, view the attempted question and then uh, download the, uh, the grid and then view it on the Excel. All right. I think I've completed all things. If you if you have any question, um, feel free to ask. Uh, uh Dr. Yazid. Yep. Uh, when we view the results, okay. Uh, since the the questions are all randomized, right? Uh, let's say uh, a, a particular student has uh, let's say question number six. Uh, she got it wrong. And can I view the, the, what is question number six? Because it's been randomized, different students will get different uh, question for number six, right? Um, the, in this summary, uh, this, this particular question is, how to say, let's say this one, it will align. It will align back to the same same question lah actually. Oh okay. Ah, cuma yang last yang last kat sini, 
memang random lah yang I remember the last last four ke last three aha uh -huh, okay. so let's say if it's uh, yang randomized tu kan okay kalau kita nak tengok yang mana let's say one of out of a four or three tu salah so kita nak tahu which question oh, okay. uh -huh. Uh, can we view the question? Boleh. Ah, uh, okay. Can view the question actually. Let me try to go to that. Dia by student nanti tahu uh, yang tu. Let me try out uh, this one here. Locally assigned group. Let me. Where is it? Kita, I'm looking for that. Right, no problem. This is result. If you, uh, if I can't find it now, I, I, I will get back to you afterwards. Huh? <laughs> okay, no problem. That is it. Is it preview? No, no. Because there was a case uh, last time, um, the quiz somehow break uh, uh, in between. So we have to go to up to that level lah, to see which question the student has actually answered. Hmm. Sorry, I, I tak jumpa lah pula. Uh, uh, tak apa, tak apa, nanti Aziz. Uh, nanti saya just uh, maybe I write my email address dekat sini. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, ya Aziz, you, yeah. you, you nak cari the uh, responses kot. Responses, responses uh, kan? during the quiz tu kan nak tengok dia orang punya responses. But now uh, tak ada attempt so tak ada kod. Ada. Ah uh ah. -uh. Kalau dekat bawah dia ada dia punya jawapan tu lah kalau nak tengok in uh, during the quiz. Ini responses or oh, I not the one. Trying to click here. Oh, I think here. Kat sini. Ah. Dr. Noor Azlina kat sini. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, kasih. <laughs> uh, uh. Click pada uh, jawapan dia tu ya? Ah, uh, yes. Alright. Okay, uh, Umu, is there no, yeah, okay, is ada, ada soalan lagi tak? Uh, yang dekat chat dah tak oh, dekat. Chat. Uh, Sarah Jatera dah selamat pagi about question that have figure and mathematical equation can we use icon? Oh, for the question that have um, uh, figures and mathematical equation, use the GIF format. Give format. Ah, uh, this one. It allows you to, for example, you have question A plus B equal to what? The student can put put the answer, and then the the system will be able to recognize whether the answer is correct or not within certain uh, decimal decimal point. Um. The setting uh, you can explore uh, under this this um, GIF format uh, category. 
Um, can we get the PPT slide can? Alright, no more question. Any other question from member? So, um, I think you will gain more, uh, um, how to say, uh, insight of the quiz by explore this uh, manual documentation and also make use of the available resources because uh, this platform model is being used by many other universities as well. They have created lots of uh, YouTube videos, but you need to type in uh, keyword models along with the uh, uh, question of uh, your, your question, the keyword of your question. Um, yeah. Documentation and please take note, uh, there are different uh, version. Our spectrum based on model 3.3, yeah. um, Umu, am I right? I think 3.3. .3. We going to upgrade, uh, I think, uh, somewhere in June, June or July. I'm not so sure, but uh, they will be upgrading um, happening. But uh, more or less the manual for uh, different version, they are uh, quite similar. Lah. Okay, uh, if there's no more question, I think we can stop here. Dr. Safi, ada soalan tak? Uh, anyone have any more questions? No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so maybe we can just end this session. All right. right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks thank for you very much, Dr. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, please do not forget to fill up the feedback form as we will provide the e-certificate for everyone who fill up the feedback form later. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Yasin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.